Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with the Whiskey Sour. That's right, day drinking is the best drinking. And if that day happens to be a very sunny, very hot day, there is no better cocktail to enjoy than a classic Whiskey Sour. And I am very excited to be showing you my favorite formula for this incredibly refreshing, super simple, absolutely delicious drink. In fact, the only problem with this is it might be a little too delicious. So as they say, please enjoy responsibly. And to get started here, what we're going to do first is make what's called a double simple syrup, which means we're going to add two parts sugar to a pan, followed by one part cold fresh water. And then once all that's in there, we'll go ahead and turn our heat on to medium. And as the name might indicate, this is a very easy thing to make. Since basically all we have to do is bring this up to a simmer, stirring occasionally, at which point that sugar should be completely dissolved in our mixture nice and clear. And that's it. Once that happens, we will turn off the heat. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer it into this bowl, where we have to let it cool down completely before we use it. And while that's cooling, let's go ahead and talk cocktail shakers. And I actually have two, both with the same design. All right, there's the bottom canister and then a top piece that has a strainer built right in, which is covered by a third piece, which is the cap. And while you can mix the drink just by using one of these, I'm actually going to place a smaller shaker into the bigger shaker and then shake it this way to make my drink, which I think works out a lot better. Okay, sometimes a vacuum's formed and that top cap can be very hard to get off after you shake. And then the last thing we'll need is one of these strainers for when we serve it into our glass. So that's going to be it as far as the hardware goes. And then assuming our simple syrup is cool, we are ready to move on to the software, which will start with two ounces of 100 proof bourbon whiskey, which we should be measuring in with a jigger, but I don't own a two ounce one. But what I do own is a two ounce measuring cup, also known as a quarter cup. And then to our bourbon, we will add exactly one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, which absolutely must be, has to be fresh. Okay, if you're not going to use fresh lemons for this, do not make it. And then to balance everything out, we will add three quarters of an ounce of our double simple syrup, followed by about five drops of orange or regular bitters, which, by the way, some people just drip on the top of the drink. But personally, I think they should be shaken in. And then last, but certainly not least, we're going to add, believe it or not, one egg white, which I think we should separate into a ramekin first, just in case we get any pieces of shell or other weirdness. And that's it. Once that's separated, we'll go ahead and dump that in, at which point we're going to proceed to give this what's called a dry shake. And for any shaking activities, we're definitely going to need that smaller canister on the top. And we'll make sure we got a nice tight fit. And what we'll do is shake this vigorously for about 30 seconds or so, so that all these ingredients are very well combined before we add our ice. Because if we put the ice in now, that egg white won't emulsify quite as well, and the drink will not get as frothy as we want. So we will shake that for about half a minute. And I'm not sure how well you can see it, but that egg does start to get a little bit foamy. And then once that's set, we can go ahead and finally add some ice. But not too much. I'm just doing three one by 2 inch cubes. So there's one, plus two more. And we'll go ahead and place that smaller shaker back on the top. And again, make sure we have a nice tight seal. At which point we're going to give this the old shake a shake -a, very, very vigorously for about 45 seconds or so, or until our shaker feels extremely cold. And this is kind of hard to do in front of the camera. I mean, normally I would be doing this up by my shoulder, but unfortunately that's too close to my face to film. So I'm just shaking it in front of me like this. But as long as you're shaking it vigorously, it really doesn't matter where you shake. So do that any way you want. I mean, you are after all the Tom Cruise of shake and booze. And that's it. After about 45 seconds or so, our shaker should feel extremely cold. And that's it. It is now ready to strain into a rocks glass containing one large fresh ice cube. And I'm going to transfer this into my smaller shaker because the strainer fits a little better. And we'll go ahead and strain this gorgeous liquid over our ice. Whoops. If you can, try to get it all in the glass. And if everything's gone according to plan, this beautiful white meringue-like foamy head's going to form at the top which for me makes for a drink just as beautiful to look at as it is to drink. I mean, come on, how do you not want to sip on something that looks like that? And then to finish this off, I went ahead and did the traditional slice of orange and maraschino cherry. Except because I'm fancy, I went with a slice of blood orange and a luxardo cherry. And if I was using regular size ice cubes, I would have pushed that down in. But with this big extra large square one, I'm just going to lay it across the top. And that's it. How to make Chef John's whiskey sour. And I'm going to go ahead and lose the fruit here so it's easier to drink. But first, let me use it to give this a little stir. So you can hopefully see how that egg white gives this drink a little bit of a thickness, which really does create a beautifully rich, luxurious mouthfeel.
which reminds me, let me go ahead and feel this in my mouth. And that, my friends, is just one of the greatest cocktails of all time, with just the perfect balance between the whiskey, the sour, and the sweet elements. And thanks to the egg whites, not only is this drink bright and lively and refreshing, it's also a little bit creamy and borderline decadent. And yes, the egg white is technically optional, and the classic old, old school whiskey sours do not include it. So if you're not into it and want to mix one of these up without it, go ahead. But personally, for me, the egg white really makes this cocktail what it is. And of course, never drink on an empty stomach. So I went ahead and snacked on my fruit garnish. But anyway, that's it. My favorite way to make a whiskey sour. And as far as my favorite way to drink these, that would be sitting in an Adirondack chair on a hot, very sunny day when I have nothing to do and all day to do it. But regardless of where and how you're going to enjoy yours, I really do hope you give these a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.